Hello and welcome to this episode for Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In this episode, we are going to be looking at, thank you, Richard, the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino by Seed Studio. The Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino lets you experiment with a number of different Grove sensors using an Arduino and provides all of these modules on a single PCB with detachable parts. Using this kit, you can get yourself stuck into the Grove system, which helps makers experiment with different devices and sensors without needing to build complex circuits. One neat feature of this kit is that all of the modules are still attached to the base PCB, and this gives you the freedom to either prototype with a board as it is or detach each module if needed. Additionally, the kit provides plenty of sensors, interfaces, and drivers for creating all kinds of projects. On reflection, had I known about this board, I personally would have recommended it in my $100 workshop video, which can be found here. To start, the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino integrates 10 different Grove modules and a single Arduino Grove expander shield. The expander provides the ability to connect up to 12 different Grove modules to the Arduino, and this is possible thanks to the ability for I2C devices to share a single bus. Each of these modules is attached to the main PCB via small tabs, and these tabs have small drilled holes, which makes removing them easier, as we can see around here. On the outside of the PCB is a ruler, and this can be useful for measuring distances, but if you detach all of the modules, then I can't really see too much use for it. The 10 modules included in the kit are an LED, a buzzer, a button switch, a rotary potentiometer, sound sensor, light sensor, temperature and humidity sensor, a three axis accelerometer, an air pressure sensor, and a 0.96 inch OLED display. Because the Grove modules are a mix between I2C, analog and digital signals, different Grove sockets on the shield connect to different GPIO on the Arduino. This allows multiple Grove sensors to work with an Arduino without interfering with the I2C bus needed by most sensors. At the same time, each module has been internally connected to the Arduino shield, meaning that you don't actually need any cables to use the modules if they've been left connected to the main PCB. With the many different sensors and I.O. available on this board, it's kind of hard to think of things that it can't do. The first project idea that comes to my mind is environmental monitoring, thanks to the air pressure, the temperature sensor, and the humidity sensor. If used with an Arduino with Wi-Fi capabilities, this would let you build an IoT device capable of streaming data in real time. Another idea for this kit would be a really trivial games console with a tiny OLED screen, a single button and a potentiometer. In this example, you could use the button for jumping while the potentiometer provides absolute positioning, thus creating a game where you have to jump over obstacles as they come. Similar to Flappy Bird, but not so addictive that the entire country's economy suffers because no one can stop playing it. Even the piezo module can be used to generate tones, making a game much more interactive. This kit could also be used to control electronic devices via sound. The sound module can be used to detect claps, and the number of claps can determine what action to take. For example, we can take things like light switches and wall switches and connect those to a Grove relay module and then tie those into a sound module such that loud claps can control those devices. Show us your party trick. What trick? Your one handy clap. Oh. Just please don't be an idiot and get yourself hurt. We are not responsible for your stupidity when you decide to test whether something is live by licking it. Now, admittedly, I have done that myself, but only with batteries. The Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino is a brilliant purchase for those looking to explore Grove sensors, how to use them with the Arduino environments, and those who want to quickly prototype new projects. The use of breakout tabs provides makers with a lot of freedom in design. But the fact that the designers connected these modules to the central shield via the tabs is absolutely brilliant. So if you are looking to get cracking with Grove sensors, I highly recommend that you head over to the Electromaker store where you will be able to fund my unhealthy work-life balance 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.